Second reason, bakit important ang evangelism? Evangelism leads to the salvation of sinners. Sabi ni Paul sa Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1, um, that men are dead in their trespasses and in their sins. And in Romans, sinabi din niya that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Because all of us have sinned and rebelled against God, we deserve His wrath and punishment. So that that applies to both you and me. And kung ako tatanungin mo, sobrang bigat ng pakiramdam na yun. Pero alam mo kung ano yung good news ng Diyos? Man, but mankind is not left in misery. Kasi kung isipin mo, may good news eh. Andun yung gospel. And Paul says in Romans 10 verse 13, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And Paul is saying that those who worship God are saved. Ngayon, good news pa yun o hindi? Good news. Sa buhay mo ba noon, Jik? Parang ano ba yung pumigil sa'yo sa tingin mo um, to surrender your life to Christ? Uh, I think it's uh, mostly myself. Uh, I wanted to be in control. Mm-hmm. Pero yung consequence ng trying to be in control led to, well, uh, you know, hopelessness, pain. Uh, and uh, in pursuit of yun nga, gusto na pleasure, puro pain lang. And then, that's when I became parang, parang no choice na kung si Lord, pero that's where I found out He was the only choice mm-hmm. for for a happy life. And not, not just a happy life, it's, it's the only life here na available. So it's the good news. <laughs> yeah, totoo naman. And kung come to think of it, how will a sinner an idol worship, a rebellious person like you and me would actually turn to God and worship Him. Parang kung iisipin mo kasi, imposible siya eh. Like, hindi ko ma- mababali yung tao para bigla lang sambahin ng Diyos. Mm-hmm. Kailangan talaga may mabago sa puso niya, sa buhay niya. Sabi nga ni Paul sa 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13 to 17, di ba? He actually presented a very logical case um, in terms of preaching the gospel. So, sabi sa Romans 10, verse 13 to 17, How then will they call on Him whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in Him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? For man to be saved and to worship God, he needs to hear the gospel message. He needs to hear the good news of salvation. And that has to take root. Kumbaga. Like, on my end, nung narinig ko yung gospel message around 15 years ago, may kailangan talagang magbago sa puso ko for me to put my faith and trust in Christ. Um, ano nga ba nangyayari when a sinner hears the gospel message? Diba sabi ni Paul sa verse 17, faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. And Paul then explains that through the hearing of the gospel, man is given faith faith in God. And this faith is the means or instrument to receive salvation. And sinabi niya nga, diba, it's a very famous na verse, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. Ano sabi doon, bro? For by grace you have been saved. Through faith, and this is not out of our own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of good works, so that no one may boast. Hmm. So therefore, pag ganun, through evangelism and through the proclamation of the gospel, God saves sinners by granting us, granting you and me, faith to believe in Him. Yeah, with that being said, uh, papaisip nga ako, Kuya Mong, na ang galing lang na I have been a recipient of the grace of God, no? Uh, totoo, hindi, wala akong mapagyayabang eh. Mm. Wala, sabi nga rin, wala akong ambag. <laughs> but ang ambag ko lang is uh, kasalanan. Yeah. But, but the, the grace of God is really uh, nakakatunaw ng puso. He, he chases me. And uh, hindi niya ako sinukuhan. He used people to really, you know, uh, melt my heart. Melt my heart talaga. When I was really, sabi nga natin, uh, idolatry, uh, uh, re- rebellious, no? But he, he used people as well. You know? Ultimately, it's God chasing me, no? So that I could really surrender my life to Him. And that's, that's, so, that's so nice. That's a nice point that you have shared. Yeah, and... Kung isipin ko rin sa buhay ko, parang siguro di ako naging kristyano. I mean, kung hindi ginamit ng Diyos yung mga taong nag-share din sa akin ng gospel. Mm. 
and that really again sa mga warms my heart because again it's God is merciful enough to unang una give the gospel message to us and His Son and to use the people um, to preach the, the message the gospel message to me and kung baga yun yung duro marketing divine plan ng Dios for us and in divine plan niya on eva- on why evangelism matters come to think of it diba it is really only by the grace of god that we are saved and we really should be thankful to god for the gospel that he gave us through christ mm. and also by using the people that really took their time to s- share the gospel message to us nakakataba na puso yun eh, na tipo oh nga no in hindsight nga sabi mo Grabe kung siguro kung sinuuan ako, sinukuan ako ng teacher ko nung high school. Hindi ako papasa. I mean, na ano na siguro, parang naparewara na siguro tayo or um or mas natagalan pa um yung pag bago tayo maging Christian. Hmm. Pero that's not say it's not saying na it is man's work. Ah. It is still God's work. Evangelism is still God's work. But what we're trying to say here is that um God uses people to accomplish His plans, His mission uh, in our lives. So, yun.